We're going to make some t-shirt yarn. Anybody ready to see some t-shirt yarn? Hello and welcome back to Good Knit Kisses. I'm your host, Kristen, and welcome to the replay. If you're catching me later, we're going to make some t-shirt yarn. Anybody ready to see some t-shirt yarn? Okay, so we're going to get started here. So what you're going to need is you'll need a t-shirt or more. And um, you, you're going to want to get you some scissors, whichever ones you prefer. These need to be sharpened, so I'm actually going to use my kitchen utility scissors. Um, if you've never seen these before, these are from Cutco. I'm going to use these because they're kind of more heavy duty. And then um, you just need your shirt. So let's be real honest. This is one of my husband's cast-offs, and he gave me a bunch of them kind of a while back to do stuff with. And we're going we're gonna to out Mr. John. Do, does your significant other's armpits look like that? <laughs> Am I the only one? That's a nice one. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so get your, get your scissors, get your t-shirt. You're going to lay it out on a flat surface. I'm going to lay it out here and then I'm going to flip the camera. So you've got your t-shirt. You've got your, your neck of your shirt. You want to get it all lined up. Okay, nice and nice and flat. Okay, and then you've got the arms sticking out. What we're going to do is you're going to start at the armpit here and you're going to you're going to cut it off. Okay? You can um depending upon your shirt, I mean, you could you could cut off um these arms here and then cut this and you can actually cut these by hand later and tie them on but because it's a t what you want to do is you want the tube so that's why you're cutting it here and going over to the other side to here and because he's got this nice little armpit thing I'm going to actually cut it off here because it's a big shirt this is like oof, this is a 4x so I'm going to get a lot out of this okay so I'm going to turn it to the side so I can cut it easily and you could even flip it in half so if it's just too big to manage, we're going to flip it in half just while, while you're cutting that and make sure it's spread out. And then we're going to cut this. I don't have to be perfect here, girl. You can choose to, to cut this part off or you can use it. I'm going to cut it off just to make it um, more consistent. So because I have this tear here, I'm going to use that kind of as a guideline. So I'm going to use my nice, my nice uh, folded edge here. Okay. So this is going to be um, my point that I don't cut. All right. So I'm going to scooch this down here. We're going to um, roll this up. Okay. I'm just going to roll it up like this. And, and I have like a, a cut in here, so I know I'm going to like cut along right here because there was like a rip. So I'm just going to roll it up. And another reason why I have the big chunky scissors is it work like this. Now, um, if it doesn't work for you like that, then what you can do is um, you can do like longer sections at a time. So if that's too big, you can do this. I'm going to unroll it and show you because mine's really thick. So let's just show you if you have, if you're, especially if, the, if you're working with fabric that's from the store and, um, what you do is you're going to want to, um, you're, you're going to want to make a tube and, and sew up or at least, uh, yeah, so sew, sew up the, um, the, the two ends and then turn it inside out and then do this. Okay. So that's how you would do it if you're working with a big bolt of fabric. So let me do big, long folds here. One. Two, this is about the size of my hand. Okay. Three. Okay. That's much easier to cut through, right? Okay. Then what we're going to do is work our way down and we're going to cut, cut this yarn. Okay. So where's that fold here? I'm trying to find that break. Yeah, that's where it is. So I'm going to work from this side. doesn't really matter. But I'm going to kind of see, see how much I need. One, two, three. I'm going to do some real wide. So I'm just going to cut these right here. Okay. So I'm going to make this real wide. Okay. So what you do is you flip it and you cut it past this last fold. Okay. Just 
pass um, just a little bit and then you leave, you know, kind of about an inch or so up at the top. See how I'm not going all the way through? Okay. Sorry, I'm trying to find where that, that fold was. There it is. Okay. That's right there. I'm marking, I'm marking where that was. I have kind of a unique situation this morning, so. And you can be like technical with it. You can measure it out, do whatever you need. And then there is my break. So I'm doing some pretty wide. These are nearly two inches. Would be, what is that, five centimeters? I'm just kind of, I'm just eyeballing it. I'm not going to stress. Also, I will add to the texture. You could intentionally make it thick and thin if you wanted to. That would actually be the way that you could do it. You would make, you would vary your widths and um, imitate yarn that had that look to it. We are going to cut. Okay, we're going to cut this part. Now you can... You can unfold it, okay, or you can take your, take your arm. I like to take, you can unfold it and you can lay it flat and cut this, okay, or you can take your arm and do it. So you would, you would go along your arm like this and, and cut it, but just for, so that you guys can see it, because I would normally do my arm like that, but I want you to see what this looks like, okay? So when I pull it out, it looks like that, right? Okay, so you see these lines here. You see these lines? This is good. This is good for visual so you know what you're doing. Because if I show it on my arm, you're not gonna really see how I do it. And I've got a video on how to do this, like with a with a bag, like a plastic bag. So you can do it either way, but I show it with my arm that way. So I'm gonna show it different right here. So I'm gonna go from this bottom right one. Well, it, yeah, it's bottom right, it's not flipped on your camera. So um, I'm gonna start it by going from here to here. Okay, can everybody see that? Just do a diagonal cut, okay? So this will be, I'm sorry, this one will be my beginning uh, strand, okay? And then I'm gonna continue cutting diagonal. So when I cut, um, yeah, then I cut all the way over here, because see it's already diagonal, so it looks like I'm making these straight cuts, but in fact, it's joining it. Okay. Oops. So this will be all one ball here in a minute. And then I'm going to show you a way that you can wind it up. You can put it on a winder or you can start your ball uh, the way I'm going to start winding this one up. Okay. So this is my last one, right? And then, um, then I have this Y here. What we wanna do is go all the way over like it was attached to something else, okay? So just do the angle and then this is gonna end this way. So this is either the ending or the beginning. So let's wind this up. I'm gonna put it um, under my thumb like this and then I'm gonna go around my, um, between my ring finger and my pinky. And then, so it goes all the way around and then around my thumb again and around my pinky and you can help it by moving your hand or you can just move your right hand okay or you could use something else I like to use my fingers because they're long and I have big hands but once you get to the point where you can't do much anymore then what I suggest is you just pinch it and this is by the way this is great for extra ribbon you can pinch it and even use like a masking tape or rubber band to go around it and then label what it is. But um, that's what I actually do. I used to work at MJ Designs when it was, it, Michael's used to be Michael's MJ Designs and then they split and it was, I worked at MJ Designs and did bows. That's actually what I did in college. So anyway, I take this and then I flip it in half and then I start winding my ball. So this is kind of a two for one. This is how you can make balls real easy. Now with delicate yarn, I wouldn't ever do that. But with a t-shirt yarn, it's totally totally perfect. So I'm going to let this fall on my lap. Hold on while I'm knocking the camera around. Okay. So let's just see how big this ball is. I haven't measured how much yardage I get, but 
anyway, so what I'm doing is I'm just turning it as I go. And when I get a lot going on that way, sometimes then I kind of start rotating it. And then I'll go the other direction. All right, and so now I've got to the end and I want to have enough to tuck in my tail here. And there we go. So you could wrap a little rubber band around that or whatever. This would be fun for a cat. Hey, nee, nee. <laughs> so anyway, this is my t-shirt yarn. I can start working with this right now. So anyway, I hope you guys like that. Um, I hope you can make you some t-shirt yarn this week. It's kind of fun.